welcome back. Happy Monday. Um, I don't know if you guys can see how tired I am, but I don't know if I'm fully functioning this morning yet. Uh, it's going to be another very crazy week around the farm. Um, we laid down a bunch of grass yesterday that we're going to pray goes this afternoon just because it wasn't very thick. Um, and it'll be big bales. I'm going to stop off here and grab chicken feed and take care of the roosters in this one pen and uh, I gotta feed the calves back there. Um, we are also going to lay down alfalfa, I think. What's the talk? We are going to do second cutting alfalfa and it's July 6th. It doesn't seem possible. Usually we should be doing, you know, start cutting alfalfa right now.
good afternoon. Now that we've got some hay down, we're gonna go grab the semis and go pick up that straw. It's hot. <sighs> Thanks for tagging along with us, guys. <whistles> it's gonna be another very full week of hay. Hauling, mowing, raking, the whole nine yards. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. We've gained a ton of new subscribers and that is so exciting. And that means a lot from the bottom of my heart because what was five and then 25 and then 50 subscribers has turned into over 500. And that's, that's huge. Um, I told Jason, I said, you think we can hit a hundred or a thousand subscribers by September for my birthday? So that's my goal. Thousand subscribers by September. This has definitely been a lear learning curve today. I'm trying to stack this. We are in the process of building one more barn. It'll be over at the Creek Farm. And it's going to be a little bit different than our typical hay barns because those are wood structured. The one we're building over there is going to be a metal structure. So a little bit different. It's gonna be a little bit bigger. It's not gonna have walls on the side. It's gonna be open framed. Now we've got to figure out how we're going to tarp these guys. He was trying to do it five high and it was just, needless to say, it was not going well. I think he's finally got it. But now all the straw is done and up, so that's good. Now we're gonna move the cows. Jason did spend some time last night brush hogging that off and we're gonna go right up this paddock and down and around. So I believe is his plan, I think. He went to go get the mineral feeder. Actually, you can see the other set of cows right through there. See them? So we have one set right there across the creek and then we have these ladies making their way up here we do run two herds a fall calving cycle and a spring calving cycle I'd like to say right now this is our side hobby <laughs> Definitely my hobby. I love it. For those of you that are new subscribers that are just tagging along, uh, we do do rotational grazing. And so that means that we move them every few days, different paddocks, over 200 acres or so. Come on, girls. Come on. Good girls. Come on, ladies. Yes, come on. So that is our red Simmental Angus bull. He 
got moved Saturday just in case. Um, I have 10 of these girls out here. One of them here, those girls there. Um, we did AI them, so I just wanna make sure that they are bred in case the sticks didn't hold, so we did move bulls around. Come on, ladies. And there's all the babies. So this is a heifer. Do not go through that fence. And this is our youngest, last baby born that doesn't have a tag. That's Lucy's baby, number one. Do not go through the fence line. Guys, come on. Little nincompoop, he's gonna hurt them all through. Think big boy. What are we gonna do with Oreo? We do need to call out some cows. We need to do some. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we do need to put out some mineral and more salt blocks too. So. Pretty boy, because that's 34 right here, and 35 is back there behind his mama. He's been nursing somebody. 35. Yeah, 35 has been nursing because, but that's 18 standing oh, beside him. Yeah. Hey, nine, you look so good over here. We are waiting on one lonely cow, and then we are done oh. till the fall. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So one of the main things that you can do for cows, no matter what, is always provide good minerals salt blocks, sulfur, the blue cobalt iodine ones. <laughs> she was gonna take the whole bite. A good trace mineral. We choose to use Perina Wind and Rain series. Works well for us. Is that good, 35? Who else is up there? She's such a nice looking heifer. Whoa. I was like, whose baby's that? These little nincompoops. Like, no. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We gotta tag some calves. We have Lucy's needs to be tagged and this one needs to be tagged. Did you? 48's like, nope, not gonna touch today, Jason.